Now I hear myself in the headphones. I can hear myself. Oh, it's only in that. Yeah, it's only in that one. I can't hear me? No, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. What the fuck? I want to hear you. <laughs> Whoa, I can hear you now. Really? Do it again. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Who's going to say hey, guys? I will. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. What is up, guys? We are back with another episode. Hello, we're so excited. I've been waiting to film this week. I missed I it. I know. It's Everything like, just keeps going back and forth, and part of me just wants to keep my mouth shut. Shut. Yeah. Well, I want to keep my mouth shut too. We have a big announcement, but we can't tell you yet. <laughs> no. They're probably going to hate us. They're literally going to come into our DMs and be like, Sam, no. Taylor, you guys are the worst. Like, why can't you just tell us that way? What's up, guys? It's Thursday. I'm going to vlog the next few days for you guys. Almost the weekend, so we got some fun things to show you. Right now, we're actually going to go get a COVID test for ACL because we need one for the music festival. We could show a vaccine card, but I'm having this whole issue with the, my vaccine card because like, it's not filled out all the way even though I got it. Long story. Anyways, I have to like be home at the place I got it for them to refill it out. And I'm clearly not home. I'm in Texas, so I just have to go get tested. So me and Sam are gonna go stick some things up our nose so that we can go to ACL this weekend. And we missed our first appointment. Sam randomly was like, we had an appointment today and we didn't go. But luckily, they had open ones. So let's go. Let's do this thing. Hot. Yeah, we're not dressed for the weather. Done. I didn't record it because I feel like there's some creepy people that'll say something weird. Somehow. So I didn't film it. Guys, look at this meal. I've been having tofu rice and Brussels sprouts, but I added some pickled onions and cucumber and then just G Hughes, the Thai chili sauce. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I'm like drooling looking at it. Sam's cauliflower takes a long time. I know. So my food is ready first and it took 20 minutes and she's still cooking her cauliflower. It'd be nasty if I didn't have Yeah, she can't even do it. I think I'm gonna do it next time on tofu. That'd be good. Yeah. Mm. If you hate Brussels sprouts, you're lame. Okay, vlog. Now we have to do the most fun process planning a macro cap. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, so many carbs. It's looking like it's gonna be a lot of cereal. So many carbs. How did that even happen? Okay. Crushed it. We're doing pancake mix cereal, Beaumont butter. That's what I did yesterday, so I know it's gonna be good. A beautiful sight. I'm gonna sit here and watch YouTube. Sam just wants to get ice cream, so home alone. Taste test, even though I know what it tastes like. This is the best part of the day. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. Um, I couldn't go for a morning walk because it's raining, so that sucks. But it's okay. I'll probably be out in the gym or something, just come back and walk. So now I'm gonna make breakfast. In like two minutes, I've literally just been laying in my bed because I could go walk. I have no idea what's on the agenda for today. So I guess you'll find out when I do. Guys, shoulders, A1, right? But it wasn't even glute day. It's just the leggings. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Guys, I've been laughing at this TikTok for days. So, I'm making Sam do it with me because it's so funny. I'm, I've been peeing my pants. It's on the podcast page. <laughs> now we sp switch spots. I need to think of like what, what dance to do. <laughs> and then I go like this to you. <laughs> hey guys, so um, clearly we got back from the gym, um, made a quick snack, and then I went to go walk because as I told you guys, I didn't do my morning walk because the rain. So we got in our two miles on the treadmill, quick and easy. Now I have to do a little bit of work things. Just like a few emails and just kind of wrapping stuff up for the end of the month for things I have to get back to. And 
then it's weekend mode. That's like all I have to do because Fridays, YouTube goes live, podcast goes live. It's like all the big things are like done for the week. Yeah, I think we're gonna go grocery shopping maybe? Yes, I need to get some stuff for lunch. Do you wanna go to Trader Joe's? Yes. <laughs> Trader Joe's, here we are, baby. Mini Trader Joe's haul. We're going to LA on Tuesday. That's going to be a separate vlog, so stay tuned for that. It'll be hopefully, I think, Friday's video. So, starting off, I got a little bit of blackberries. I would have gotten blueberries. I only had big ones, and for a few days, I don't need a big pack. So, I just got a little bit. We got lots of greens. We got broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and green beans for some meals. Some more tomatoes, because these are good as like a little snack. I, we just pick on these all day. I got more, because I'm gonna run out. Some tortillas for my burrito bowls. Coconut whipped cream, just because I needed more of this. Veggie burgers just to have on hand because sometimes I go to Trader Joe's and they don't have these so since I saw them We got them and here are some apples. They didn't have peaches, which I Really wanted peaches, but they didn't have so we got apples and Lastly well second to last I got one more thing of tofu and a candle We each got a candle so we can have two of the same scents in our apartment We've just been needing more candles. We cook a lot of Brussels sprouts and it does not make your apartment smell good. Oh, I missed one thing. We also got some Trader Joe's version of Rice Krispies because I ran out and if you know, you know, I'm obsessed with my protein cereal. So we got more. And that's it, now I need lunch. This is the burrito bowl I've been having every day for lunch. It's just some vegan chorizo, chips, veggies, salsa, vegan queso in a wrap on the side. So good, so yum. So I'm so ready to eat this, I'm starving. Guys, I've been trying to bring back my Instagram story game because I've been slacking and I think this is so cute, ready? I just took these. Look how cute. Maybe this is like how I'm gonna tag my gym fits like all the time and then I'll be like known for this story layout. Is this a new, maybe this is a new thing I'll do. Kind of cute. Oh, okay, hey Kayla. <laughs> Next stop of the day, we are now at the mall to find some stuff to wear to the festival tomorrow. Going to Forever 21, hopefully to find some shorts and some shoes. Hopefully it's successful. Okay, update, we went in like five stores, found nothing, went into Pakistan, I got a skirt. It was way too expensive and I still don't love it, but we had no other options, so I got it. And now we're still, I think, just gonna look a little bit, hopefully find something. Um, we'll see. The selection sucks. Oh yeah, baby. 11,006. Not bad. It's only four. Dude, tomorrow's gonna be like 20K. <laughs> it's not good for our bulk. <laughs> that is so fast. It's not good. It's okay, but we're going out, so like I think. And we're we might, like drinking. Like I think we might be in a like shit. Be in a surplus. Yeah. I also really want dessert, so I'm literally not what, tonight. Yeah. Me too. I want to go out. Here's my thing. I'm either going out or we're getting donuts. We should get donuts and like go to the go watch the sunset. I want to go out. I want to watch the sunset. I haven't watched. I know you're like so opposite of me. Like, I want to go, go out. out. I'm like I want to watch the sunset. Miley, Miley, you're there. Miley, you're down there. I know you're down there. Show your face. Wow. Look at the Wow. Look at the lake. Usually people would be on the lake right now. I'm starving, so I'm drinking half of this shake because I used half of it and I have half in the fridge. LOL, that way that, way that, that was just on my mouth. Then in the toaster, we got a pumpkin Whoa. spice waffle. Oh, they smell so good. Oh wait, I have those Samoa things I can eat. Ooh, but pumpkin smells amazing. Thanks for the light. It smells really good actually. 
Okay, well that was just another instance of why we need a camera in the kitchen because that was literally funny. Sam got pumpkin samosas from Trader Joe's and I knew that they were like savory. Like I've had like sweet potato samosas like and I just assumed that like we were on the same page as they were. No, we were. She thought they were gonna be like like mini pumpkin pies. That's what I thought, dude. <laughs> she put cinnamon on them and then filmed a taste test. And it was so funny. God. But I didn't film yeah. it because it happened so fast. And if we had the camera, they would have saw it. Let's do an unboxing. I just got a bow and tea package. I'm really excited about it. This box has been been through a lot. <laughs> Sports bra. Cute. Scrunch butt shorts. Oh, these are like really cute. I'm wearing these tomorrow. Decided. Another sports bra, different cut, like a v neck. This is super cute. A I pair of color. leggings, scrunch butt leggings. They're gonna look like I'm naked. I was supposed to say that. If you were holding them next to your arm, I was like, wait. I'm going to look naked. So this is cute. Oh, I'm gonna like how this fits. I like this little detail in the back. This is kind of cute. I think this would be cute as like a fit, like wearing it as a matching set because this is like long enough to be like a shirt. I'll probably even wear this as a shirt to be honest. If it didn't say bow and tee, I could literally pull it off and wear it with like jeans. Last thing. Oh, yay. I'm glad I got another pair of these. Another pair of these scrunch butt shorts in like matching with this top. Cute. I'm very excited. Stay tuned for the Instagram post and that stuff because that should be coming pretty shortly. Tofu rice, Brussels sprout roll, the usual, straight out of the meal prep container. It's just, you know, nothing fancy. Say hi to my vlog. Yeah, they love that. Say hi, guys. Taylor's vlogging. If you want to be featured in her vlog, you got to say hi now. Give it like, I would say like yeah. two minutes because say something that you want the world to know. <laughs> Mm. What do you want the world to know? Bruh. Everyone's saying hi. Vlogger. For real today. ACL day, baby. We didn't do anything last night. I feel like I said we were gonna. Oh, oh God, I care. We, we didn't do anything last night. We were gonna go get dessert, but we both came to the conclusion that pancake bowls just hit better than like a $10 ice cream yeah, or a donut. Cream. Like, like, you guys need to really just try it. It is so good. Like, to me, better. Like, I put jello, like a jello cup on top of mine. Yeah, like, like we make them loaded. Mine has cereal on it and chocolate chips and, like, it's so good. And it's not even like a calorie thing because I legit had like 700 calories to put in this bowl. Like, yeah, mine was like 500. It wasn't like a. We didn't, we wanted to, like, not eat. No, no. I love a pancake bowl, <laughs> and I would rather. The gold bomb is about to be insane. Because yeah. I think that was my biggest so cap of the Now week. we're gonna go hit glutes because the life hack on a Saturday hit glutes. So wherever you go after, you're just looking nice and. Big. Gotta take a pump though. But yeah, so we're going to life now, and I'm honestly like. It's gonna be a great day. Like we've just decided that we're not letting anyone else's like being hard to make plans or being late or whatever. We're having a good day. Yeah. And doing what we want and thotting around ACL. So <laughs> stay tuned. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you did so good in my video. <laughs> okay, now I gotta go to this girl. Oh, I was like, where are you? Okay, I switched t-shirts because I have to run somewhere after this. But we're making post-workout snacks, cereal, duh. Cookies and cream shake. Beautiful. Now that I ate my snack, I just printed out our negative COVID results so that I don't know if I need them right now or not, but I'm gonna go pick up our tickets at Will Call. We're one time Let's go. Okay, so last time you guys saw me, I was in the car. That didn't work because you can't get drive a car um, anywhere near this park and there's like no place to park your car. So I had to go back to the apartment, then get on a scooter and then scooter to the park. But 
the birds also stop working a little bit before the park. So then I had to walk, but I got them. I got the wristbands. We showered. I wasn't going to wash my hair. I'm going to put it in a ponytail, but I felt like I needed to. I put on some sunscreen and like my skincare. I also shaved my face. I do that with those little razors, if anyone's curious. And now I'm going to put makeup on. Um, just something simple. I'm not trying to really like put a lot because I'm just going to be sweating. I'll just tell you guys what I'm using. And I wanted to chat a bit about just like balancing your weekends. Because I feel like that's so hard for some people. Well, first things first. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Kind of just like right here. And on any pimples that I have which is a lot then I'm gonna take the Maybelline fit me and go under my eye this one's lighter and right here one thing I wanted to say about the weekends is you need to ditch the like effort mentality the if I'm having one day bad bad then everything I've worked for goes down the drain that's just not true at all <laughs> That's going to hinder so much of your progress if you think like that. Same thing as kind of viewing it as like a cheat. Because realistically, to me, having off days fits into my lifestyle. So I'm not cheating anything. Because I'm supposed to have off days. That's part of my routine. That's part of my lifestyle. I'm not cheating anything. And that's just like when... Like I've said, when this just becomes your lifestyle. Which it should. Like, you can't cheat a lifestyle the stress of like the yo-yoing back and forth of oh if i'm going out on saturday i might as well just throw my whole weekend away is just toxic and not gonna get you anywhere because as you notice we try to keep our whole weekend as balanced as we can just to feel our best because like when you work for yourself especially you need to be like motivated and if i wake up on monday just feeling behind and unmotivated it's it's just gonna be hard for me to have a good week especially mentally probably gonna be anxious so i just try to keep it balanced by doing things like making sure maybe i don't think the whole weekend needs to be going crazy maybe fridays we'll cook our meals at home even saturday we can try to get breakfast and lunch in like two meals in keeping our workout schedule the same you know even if we did something friday night we would still hit the gym saturday because it's just part of our routine even if we literally just went to walk on the treadmill and then doing little things throughout the whole weekend like getting steps when we can staying hydrated making sure we're eating things that you know feel good to us keeping balanced meals in mind but not necessarily tracking them like today i'm not tracking my food also i use the elf concealer in like a darker shade i'm just going to use this to contour and actually, fun fact, so steps all weekend are nice and good, but actually if I'm having a day that food is not maybe going to be easily accessible all day, I get hungry, I like to eat, I like to eat often. So for example, at this music festival, probably not going to be eating as many calories or as often as I would at a normal day at home. So I actually didn't go for a morning walk and didn't try to hit 10k steps today we're gonna be walking at the festival a ton already so i mean we might hit it but we didn't want to get extra steps because then we we're probably just gonna be hungry and not feeling good but drinking water is always so important definitely gonna try to finish this hydro drug before i head out whether you are 21 and drinking alcohol or literally just running around doing like outdoor activities or something it's freaking hot at least here in texas so you're gonna need some water i feel like that turned out really like nice and glowy and since i did it all one layer it's like not cakey another thing you're gonna need to do is not stress because stress is like the worst thing you can do for your body so sitting there stressing about what you're eating is probably gonna make your digestion feel horrible and not work out for you too good you're gonna be like why do i feel so bloated why am i holding on to so much water it's because you've been stressed all day about what you're eating i'm gonna take this elf loose powder and just really really lightly go under my eyes my chin nose forehead 
Something you also can't do to have these good weekends is restrict during the week because you know you're going to be off track on the weekend. That is just leading up to a binge that's going to make you want to go crazy. You could just do what you want and have what you want during the week so that way you literally just never feel the need to go crazy on the weekends because nothing is restricted from you. Dessert or a drink on a Tuesday have one do something so that way on like saturday you don't feel the need to do probably triple what you would have done if you didn't feel so restricted i'm using the physician's formula butter bronzer i put that just kind of all over my face i'm also just throwing it in the crease of my eyes and bringing it down my nose when it comes to like gaining weight over a weekend, you are not going to gain like actual body fat over one weekend. If the scale goes up, it's just water retention. You didn't gain a pound, but to ensure that you're not going crazy over your calories if you're really trying to lose weight or at maintenance or something, um, is just following your hunger cues. You, as long as you eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full, your body's pretty dang smart so just try to be intuitive with it maybe you are going out for dinner and the table wants dessert but maybe you're full and you just don't want it and like i said if you practice everything in moderation you won't feel the need to be like oh I need to devour all of it right now because i'm not gonna be able to see this again till next weekend no like if you're full and you don't want it don't eat it and if you're hungry and want it on a monday eat a little bit on a monday like just follow your hunger cues whether that means getting seconds, whether that means not finishing your whole plate because you're just not that hungry. Your body knows what it needs and you can trust your body even on a Saturday. I'm using this e.l.f. blush palette, by the way. I mix like these two bottom ones, but I'm taking this bright pink one too, just cause like I wanna look super cute and pink. And I'm just also bringing it on my nose. On a little angled brush now i'm just gonna take some black eyeshadow and i make like a little wing with the eyeshadow and then i also bring it on my waterline i love doing eyeliner this way especially like the wing because the brush is already the shape of it so you literally just like stamp it on and like with my eyelashes i think it just makes them look like bigger and bolder because there's more black and then it's time for highlight the maybelline master chrome highlighter now as you can see it's like all drugstore makeup because it's just not what i choose to spend my money on on a little like eyeshadow brush i just put it on the tip of my nose then down but i don't connect it i leave a little gap i actually just bought this it is the nyx brow glue Last thing I wanted to talk about is for my 21 and up people. I'm not 21 yet, but I live with someone that is. And if I were 21, this would be my tip for you guys about drinking on the weekends. Because I feel like everyone hears people say drinking is just going to ruin your progress. But it's the same thing as anything else. It's really everything in moderation. And it's really what you mix the alcohol with. So just don't be ordering sugary high calorie things for pretty much no reason get yourself like water as a mixer and then just buy mio <laughs> like the water flavoring <laughs> Bro. back on topic definitely use water as a mixer and then you can get mio from cvs keep it in your purse and flavor all the drinks and like have a water between each drink make sure you're hydrated maybe drink some electrolytes and just limit it to about one night per week and that shouldn't hinder your progress at all. I'm going to eat a bit of lunch. I don't care if you're going out in a little crop top, you need food. So I'm eating a veggie burger with vegan cheese for lunch before the festival. Okay, outfit check. I literally just threw my hair up in a ponytail to go like my money pieces, straightened it. Nothing crazy. Earrings are Forever 21, necklace is Kendra Scott. Sunnies are from Tilly's. Look how cute they are. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Top is Zara. Skirt is from PacSun. I'm just wearing Air Forces because they're probably going to get dirty. I like think it looks really cute and I'm really happy about it. Because like, look at like the rhinestones on these sunglasses. Me and my friend were saying that they're literally like Hannah Montana. Like they definitely look like something she'd have and wear. 
I'm here for it. It's gonna be fun. Waiting for Sam to get back from her eyelash appointment and a few friends to get here and then it's time to go. To ACL we go, baby! I'm drunk. Woo! Not me. Alright guys, we find some friends. Say hi to Sam. I'm Rayleigh. I'm Arden. They came up and said hi. They were like, we love you. And I was like, okay. So here we are in the vlog. My vlog too. Hey guys, I'm back here. I guess this is kind of just like my filming spot now. I don't know. I like putting you guys on my window ledge, natural light. I don't know. I like sitting on the floor and talking to you. Today is now Sunday. Festival is over. It was a lot of fun. Got back super late. I'm so tired, but I picked myself up, deep cleaned my whole freaking room, showered, face mask, skincare, did all the things. So now I feel great, but I was so tired. I just can't do no sleep. I don't get how people are doing this three days in a row. I legitimately got like 20,000 steps yesterday going back and forth in that festival. Again, not so great for the bulk, but I mean, when you gotta run back and forth between stages, you get 20,000 steps, but it's okay. Because we ate it back, baby. We stopped and got fries um, on the way out, demolished a thing of fries, came back, demolished some hippies, and a protein bar. Don't worry, the bulk is still going strong. And woke up and ate the same breakfast as normal because it doesn't matter that I ate random stuff last night. Whatever, we ate the same breakfast, same big bowl of oats, the same amount of oats I would have used if today was like a leg day. It doesn't matter, I ate the same freaking breakfast because that's what's gonna like fill your body and not confuse your body and just it'll run smoothly so we're eating the same today i'm going to end the vlog here that was kind of a balanced weekend in my life staying healthy but also going out having fun getting fries at midnight didn't film that i didn't bring my camera but you know telling you about it and that is that i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next one it's time to prep for la bye guys